Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my apartment tour. So I have moved apartments already, but I'm going to show you guys my apartment when I first came to Japan. I lived there for about four months before I moved out. So I thought this would be a good chance to show you guys what a Japanese apartment looks like. And it was a very small apartment and I was paying quite a bit for it. The main reason why I chose that apartment was that I wanted to have an apartment for when I just moved into Japan. So I was quite limited on what choices I had. I also wanted an apartment that was furnished as well so I didn't have to buy furniture. So for a person who just moved to Japan it is a great option because it's great to have a place to actually stay when you first arrive in Japan. And while you stay there you can search for a new apartment because you don't have to sign a contract for a certain amount of time. The main reason why I moved out was one, the location, it wasn't very convenient at all and I was very far out of the central Tokyo. And number two, it was pretty expensive for the area and the room size because it was literally just one room. So I'm just gonna stop talking now and just gonna show you guys my old apartment, so enjoy. Welcome to my apartment. So this is what it looked like when you go inside. If you just go down a little bit, this is my letterbox, so all my mail goes inside here. If it's too big to fit in, then I get a notice from the post office if I'm not at home. And then you turn around and this is where you put your shoes. In Japan, you don't wear shoes inside the house. So you look to your right and this is where I put a whole lot of random stuff as you can see. So I've got a whole bunch of towels because a lot of people stayed in my place and needed towels. And then I've got some shower caps and just things to keep hair out of my face got a hairdryer as well then I also have an iron just over here and then some bags to put my rubbish in now go down this is my shoe closet so I do have a lot of shoes and this is where I leave them all now moving over this is my washing machine so just a normal washing machine and my vacuum cleaner is on the side and then at the bottom here I have a bunch of cardboard boxes just because I need them and then I got some laundry stuff then we're gonna turn around and this is my bathroom so it's a very small bathroom but it's good enough for one person since I shower where I brush my teeth as well I've got slippers just in case it's wet so I've got a whole bunch of stuff like face cleaners and then also toothbrushes. This is my bathtub. Then as you can see at the bottom, that's all of my shampoo. Moving over to the next room, this is the toilet. Up there I put a whole bunch of stuff like extra toilet paper and cleaning stuff. Turning around and this is my kitchen. So it is a very small kitchen and unfortunately I did have only one stove. So up there I have a lot of stuff that I use to cook with like my salt, sugar, spices, all of that good stuff up there. And then this is where I leave my dishes to dry, so just at the bottom there. My utensils, I just put them in this little holder over there. And then I got my pots and pans. Over here I just have stuff that I usually use to cook with. And down there this is where I hang my rubbish. Inside the cupboard here, I seriously have a whole year's worth supply of instant noodles because my friend Sunny the Hay bought all this over for me. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of instant noodles in here from Indonesia. And this is just a towel to wipe your hands with and I got this as a present from my host family in Osaka. And inside here, I do have some more kitchen tools. So I got my knives, my blender and my takoyaki machine. Moving over, this is my rice cooker and then just underneath the rice cooker is my very dirty microwave and then under that is my fridge. Inside my freezer I only have some ice cream. And then in my fridge, unfortunately I don't have that many ingredients because I travel all the time so I don't have that much time to cook but yeah, it's uh, quite a decent sized fridge for one person. And then on the side here I've got some rice which I leave in a bottle. So now we are going to enter my room and this is the entrance and this is what my bedroom looks like. It is a very small bedroom but for one person it's not too bad. So here is my bed and I got my bed sheets from Nittori and then I have a huge Pikachu collection over there as you can see. I have one window on the side 
I've got a very quiet neighborhood, so it was a very nice place to live. So turning around, this was my closet and it is quite a large closet for a small Japanese apartment. Inside my closet I do have quite a lot of stuff as you can see, a lot of suitcases in there, mainly because my friend was staying over for a while. Some of my clothes that didn't fit onto my other closet I would hang inside here. Down here I've got more plastic bags, so in Japan you have to separate your rubbish and then my laundry bag. I also had a mirror which I bought from Nittery for very cheap. And moving along down here, this is my coffee table with some Pokemon placemats. And this here is my closet, so this is where I put most of the clothes I wear often in. So in this area I usually put my hats and I just put some random stuff in there as well. Then moving down, this is where I put my handbags, so I leave them all inside there. And then down here is pyjamas, so this is where my pyjamas go, and down here is sweaters. And then down below here I've got some random stuff, so this one here is just a lot of stuff that I don't know where else to put. So my umbrella, and I've got some hair stuff, and then I've also got belts inside there. Next one over there's a bunch of stockings in here, and singlets. Last one I'm not going to show you guys, but inside here is my underwear. <laughs> Now moving over, this is my very messy study desk and to be honest I never use this desk at all. But yeah, I have like a whole pile of stuff here that I just didn't know where else to put. And over here I've got a whole bunch of photos I printed out before I left Australia, so with my dog, my boyfriend and my family. And then those are just my two computers I've got there. Now moving around, this is my makeup table. And this is my chest of drawers I bought on Amazon and had to put together by myself. My makeup that I usually use the most, so that all goes on the top. The first drawer has a lot of makeup, so I try my best to organize it, but I have way too much makeup, so it's very hard to organize it. But this is all of my BB cushions here, my blushes, then I've got a whole bunch of lip products, and then also my eye products over there. Second drawer is all of my hair accessories and earrings. Third drawer is some more makeup which I couldn't fit in the other drawers and socks. Also got a whole bunch of face masks in here so use them whenever I need to and a lot of fake lashes in here too. The final drawer is a bunch of makeup which I haven't been able to use yet so most of this stuff is gifts from friends and also when I attend events I get a lot of makeup for gifts so no I actually don't spend that much money on makeup because I have way too much as you can see. So that is pretty much my room. That's the end of this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully that was helpful. Yes, it was a very small apartment but to be honest for just one person living there, it wasn't that bad at all. So now yes, I have moved into a bigger place and I am more closer to central Tokyo which is very nice. So if you guys have questions about renting apartments, um, I can try help you out, I'm not an expert at renting out apartments but I can try and answer as many questions as I can. Follow me on my vlog channel if you haven't yet to keep up to date with me on what's happening in Japan. Also follow me on my social media such as my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter because I've been posting a lot of stuff on there. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye!